Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kyle Kaysen and this is a video to fulfill Green's request for a multi-level redstone water elevator using the new water column mechanics. I have created a four level elevator. This elevator can go up to eight levels if you really wanted it to. I don't know how many levels Green is intending to use. However, this elevator is using a block swapper at the bottom and several pulse extenders in the back to be able to not only take out the water source block but then replace it after a certain amount of time after the button has been pressed. This elevator is fully functional in 1.13 and should be functional for quite a bit as the redstone mechanics used to create it are quite simple and have been around for quite a bit. Uh, I'm hoping that this thing will be well and working in the future. It took me about three hours to plan out and create. However, I would like to go ahead and get down into how it works. So basically, it works just like any other elevator. You step on the pressure plate and the bubble column eventually goes up. You walk in, it would normally take you all the way to the top of the elevator. After a certain amount of time, the magma block is swapped back in and you can go back down. That is the gist of this elevator. However, this elevator has now been taken one step further you can now request a floor to which it brings you to. So let's say I wanted to go to the third floor of my base. I can then click that button, head into the water column, and it will stop me at the third floor of the base. And then once the redstone timer happens to come out, the water column will refill. Now, I can step back in and head down. It's pretty simple. It works for pretty much all of the floors. Once you click a button, you simply step in, head up, and it will take you to the floor that you desire. Pretty simple and pretty useful at the same time. All right, now let's get into how to build this thing. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and move over here. This thing uses a seven by seven design from the looks of it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, it uses a seven by seven design it's off of my 5x5 five five design for a block swapper elevator. And I went ahead and used that to create this. Next, I'm going to show you the circuit that allows me to remove the water and put it back in. It's a fairly simple circuit. It just requires a repeater, an observer, a dispenser, a water bucket, and an empty bucket. That's it. That's all you need, as well as a single block. So to build the circuit that we're going to be using for the different floors, all you have to do is place your dispenser, an observer facing this way to where the face is opposite of the dispenser. You place a piece of redstone dust, a repeater, and another piece of redstone dust, and then you build a pulse extender, which again, extends the pulse of your actual redstone signal. And you put that there and put that there. There you go. That is the circuit we're going to use and as you can see what happens is when you put your water here and then you power said uh, you power the pulse extender you can see that the water gets taken away and after a certain amount of time the water will then be put back in. It happens pretty fast so I don't think this elevator will be able to go too tall on the different sections unless you find a way to extend the pulse, which is pretty simple. You just make a larger pulse extender by extending out the amount of comparators. So in this case, if I wanted to make it even longer, I just extend that out and there you go. And that will allow you to have plenty of time to get up to where you wanna go. And as you can see, this pulse extender is gonna last a bit longer. In fact, it's gonna last a lot longer. Uh, so with that being said, once this is all done, and there it goes, see, it works like a charm. All you gotta do is just extend the pulse extender. That's it. <sighs> so, with that in mind, I had to figure out the mechanic. The process of building this was simple. I first went and did the same thing Green did and used redstone torch towers to power dispensers. Then from there, I found a way to stack them up the way I liked, and that was pretty compact and looked pretty good that I can actually hide and make pretty. And then I had to figure out how to put the water back. That way I could continuously use the elevator to go up or down whether I wanted to or not. So 
The only thing that this elevator cannot do at the moment is make it to where you can go up to the next floor if you need to. You do have to return to the bottom to get to the next or to get to a floor above you once you've requested a floor and went there. However, all that aside, this elevator does function and it's really nice. So to get into building it, I'll go ahead and start up a new world. Uh, da, 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 da. Credo, super flat, customize, presets, redstone ready. Oh, fuck, I hit cancel. Use preset and done and create new world. So we'll go ahead and build this in a new world that way it, I can send this world to Ryan and give everyone else a world download. So with this being said, what you're going to need for the initial circuit is you're going to need some block of your choice. I prefer white concrete because concrete looks nice with redstone in my opinion. You need redstone dust, repeaters, redstone comparators. You will need a regular piston or two, really. You'll need regular pistons. You just need two of them. You're going to need a piece of soul sand, and you're going to need a magma block, as well as a redstone torch, or two, or three, or even more. It's up to you how high you want to build this elevator. But these are the blocks that you will need to build the initial circuit. We're going to start with a 5x5 five five area. So there's your three. So yes, we'll start with a 5x5 five five area. We'll use the sandstone as your floor level. Go ahead and dig two blocks down. And what you're going to do is you're going to place three pieces of redstone dust like so. You're going to place one piece of redstone dust right there and one right there. So you should have something like this. Next, for your actual pulse extender that runs the block swapper, you're going to place two comparators like that and two comparators like that and put a block right there. From there, you're going to go ahead and put a block right here and connect two repeaters with no delay into that block. Finally, you're going to put a redstone torch here and here. Place a block on top of both of those redstone torches and put a redstone torch there. That is your circuit done for your block swapper. You simply put a piston there and there, and this is what you should end up with. Place your magma block on the extended piston and your soul sand on the non-extended piston, and finally, you just grab your stone pressure plate and your floor block that you want to use and place it on top of where your redstone is. This is going to be the front of your elevator, and as you can see, the block swapper works. Now, once you put your floor block in, Oop, slipped in. You can go ahead and fill all of this in. And go ahead and build a glass tower. It doesn't matter how high you want to build it. Just build a glass tower and make it whatever you want. In this case, I am going to go ahead and use cyan. Because cyan is my favorite color on the glass. And I like to build my sections five high so that I can have four block wide entrances. It allows you to exit these water elevators a bit smoother than you normally would be able to. And it gives you a nice floor level. Once you've built your glass tower to a certain level, what you need to do is you can go ahead and grab your dispenser. This is where you want your next floor to be. You grab your dispenser, put it there, and then just continue building your tower as you normally would. Five blocks high. Yeah, should be the perfect height for the next floor, as you can see. I built this tower like this simply because it's a lot easier to do this. Uh, yeah. I cannot speak, I cannot think, I'm thinking so slowly, but I'm building, and that's what I'm doing. But yes, so you build your tower. High enough to whatever level you want to go. I suggest building no more than four levels simply because it, the redstone it gets harder and harder to hide the more levels you have. However, I'm sure with enough uh, determination you can hide all of the redstone and make it look nice and pretty. And there you go. There's three levels completed. 
now for the fourth level. That is your water elevator. Next, we'll grab some signs. Where are they? There we go. We'll grab some signs, and it should be good to go. That should hold your water in nicely. Now, I'm going to leave the water out of the elevator until it's fully functional. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you are going to wanna to grab your block of choice and make a three, a three by five area behind each of these dispensers, one block below them. This is gonna be where your pulse extenders are going to go to be able to activate the water column and update it to where you don't have to go any further up than you want to, as we can put it. So once you have all of those platforms built, you are good to go for your actual platforms. However, I would suggest making platforms to stand on. This way you actually have a decent place to stand when you exit your elevator. And finally, we'll do this number. Alrighty then. Next, just go ahead and build your decorative platform. I'm just decorating this right now because this is how I am going to hide the redstone and use this to build the actual torch towers that go alongside it. Plus, this is also the pillar that your buttons are going to go on. All right, now for the fun part. All of the redstone is in for the main circuit and all of your scaffolding for your redstone is on there. Now you're going to place your four buttons like so and build up another pillar all the way to the tippy top on either side. That will give you that nice little crisp modern look that we're all looking for. Now that we've created our actual base elevator on the front, we're gonna move around to the back. Now, this is very important. Do not place the buckets in the dispensers until all of your water is in and all of your pulse extenders are built. Because if you build it wrong and you mess up, you could it potentially screw it up and then you'd have to swim up and fix it. Okay, so with that being said, for these pulse extenders, you're gonna need an observer, a redstone comparator, some repeaters, some dust, and you're going to need a block of your choice. And now we're just going to build the circuit that we all wanted to build beforehand. So depending on where you're going to lead the power in, you're going to put the observer on the opposite side of that dispenser. To keep it compact, I'm going to be using two of these on this side and two of them on the other side. Next, you'll place redstone dust in front of your observer, a repeater going into it, another piece of redstone dust and a block there. In running into that block, you'll run your comparators like so. You'll place another piece of redstone dust and dust there. Do the same thing on this level. On this level, you'll just make it the opposite. So your block goes there, the dust, repeater, dust, 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 comparators, and comparators. Do the same thing that you did on that third level on the fourth level. So that is all of the redstone that you need to do for your actual uh, 
well, I don't, I don't truly know what to call this, but for your actual shutoff systems for the elevator to stop you at each floor. With that being said, the only thing left to do is to actually connect it. Now, it's very important to know this. When you connect the redstone wiring to the buttons, you must power the pulse extender from the side that the observer is not on. Otherwise, this will not work. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and knock out these two blocks real quick so I can see where the buttons are. I like to use the lower button for the, for the lower level and the higher button for the higher level that it is on the side. From here, you just simply create torch towers leading to where you want this stuff to go. In this case, this is going to go here and then you just wire it up. It's also very important that your torch that leads into your circuit is off because once you power this thing it's going to it's going to spit out the water or suck it back in it's easier when these are off next just build another torch tower it's pretty simple and connect it up and that's how you do this that is two levels all wired up and ready to go so now we can do the same thing on the other side but as you can see, the higher button leads to this one, and we'll turn it off, and the lower button leads to this one. And nothing gets butt powered. So we'll do the same thing on this side, the higher level, and then the lower level, and then we'll build a torch tower leading up to each level. That one's been powered, so this is the lower level right here. Build your torch tower up. And fire it up simple as can be. One torch, two torch, three torch, four torch. So many redstone torches. All right, it's wired up and you are good to go. The last thing you need to do is add your water and your buckets. So in this case, you will need four empty buckets. Place the empty buckets in your dispensers will allow them to pick up the water and then put it back in. Now, once you've done that, fill up your water elevator with nothing but source blocks. And that is your elevator done. Oh, I think I missed a source block somewhere. Right there. Yep. All right. That is it. That is the elevator complete. It should be fully functional now. So, without further ado, we'll go ahead and test it real fast. Uh, but first, we're going to go ahead and do this so we don't have mobs using the elevator. <laughs> so, we'll hit our button for the third level and we'll go ahead and step into the water elevator. And as you can see, I have arrived on the third level of the elevator. So it is fully functional. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your multi-level water elevator. I hope you enjoy it in green. I hope you find this useful. I'll go ahead and link a download into or download for this world and you can use it to build your own water elevator and see exactly how everything works. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kyle Kaysen and I'm out of here.